yesterday I hosted the security minister of the United Kingdom in Nairobi. And during that meeting, which was extremely productive and beneficial to Kenya and to our neighbors, it was agreed that uh, going forward, the partnership of the United Kingdom to us must continually Excellency, the challenges in this area are extremely complex and sensitive. We have had significant threats related to terrorism in this area and other serious crimes. For that reason, The programs that we run here as government and governments must be alive to the sensitivities and the complexities of the issues here. Your Excellency, we did sign a security compact between the UK and the Republic of Kenya, and I'm happy that uh, going forward, I'm looking forward to similar arrangements even with, uh, between the British uh, government and the UK government and uh, the other uh, countries in this region because we all must work together. We must work together. And by together, Your Excellency, I mean hand in hand, shoulder by shoulder, so that we deliver for the common benefit of our people in this region. I have had the privilege to look at the proposed program on um, the Borderlands Security Project for Kenya, Ethiopia, and Somalia. I am convinced beyond doubt that that project will go a long way in improving stability, peace, resilience, and empowerment of for our countries. And I have no doubt in my mind that the help and support that is intended from the United Kingdom is help that will go a long way in creating stability for our countries and boosting trade and investments and enhancing our shared prosperity. Allow me, Your Excellency, to make this other remark that it was agreed that this project, which you are overseeing its launching and initi initiation today, will proceed subject to the three partner states of Kenya, Ethiopia, and Somalia sitting down together with our partner, the United Kingdom, to agree on the action plan and the detailed activities. Again, the reason for that is to ensure we work together. And number two, to ensure we leave no detail unattended because of the complexities and the sensitivities of security matters in this part of the world. Therefore, in principle, Your Excellency, what we are, uh, you are presiding over today is the general uh, project initiative. But I'm very clear in my mind that there is a lot, some work to be done, maybe in uh, the next two weeks or so, to be able to agree on an action plan that carries everybody along. And finally, before I invite my brothers to say something, and later on the High Commissioner, and uh, then I invite you, um, Your Excellency, 
we want to recognize the very profound support and partnership that has been offered by the county government of Mandela, especially with regard to the support towards the National Police Reservist. We value that support and we thank you for standing in the gap for the country when it mattered. Going forward, we have taken a policy decision that we will allow our governors to concentrate on their core functions that are stipulated under Schedule 4 of the Constitution. And we, as national government, will take over fully and without exception our functions, including the national security function, including the matter of the National Police Reservist. Finally, Your Excellency, we, because of the already caveat that I've already given, that the details of these projects are going to be worked in the next few days so that we work together and make sure that we take care of everything. Um, I just want to say, therefore, at this stage, we'll only, perhaps, uh, through the High Commissioner, get highlights of what the project is supposed to achieve and leave it at that, as opposed to a detailed analysis of the project, because we also have to agree on the role players and how they'll go about it. And I'm very clear in my mind, we'll find common ground to proceed with this project uh, with very minimal, uh, very minimal alterations of whatever was initially conceptualized.